So the Freemasons uh, seem to be the secretive religion that's more bent on uh, martyring than, you know, they go, well, who's got a cause, let's martyr them to their cause. And the unfortunate thing is that they're so over-enthusiastic about this process that they will not even adequately establish that a person has a certain cause prior to making their martyring uh, efforts. And one possible philosophical account for why they're making these retarded errors in judgment could be their religious view that Jesus of Nazareth constituted a martyr. Um, once again, I'm no Christian, but with 200 years of scholarship pointing out that um, <clears throat> the accounts of St. Matthew, Luke and John were written 15 to 25 years after the Gospel of Mark, there's no real uh, non-hearsay, hearsay, hearsay, Chinese whispers, hearsay, reducing argument that... Um, can bring the contents of those three Gospels forward as prospectively uh, stipulating Jesus of Nazareth's cause. So it would be like them going to the Mormon church now and saying, well, so in your Book of Mormon it says that uh, Joseph Smith <coughs> saw Jesus in up upstate New York in the 1800s. And then the Freemasons would be like, yeah, let's martyr Jesus in, in the 1800s in upstate New York. Um, so I think they have this premature martyring, pre-martyr, pre-martyr ejaculation. Uh, yeah, if, you, if you're wanting to martyr someone to their cause, just be, um, at least you could do the... Uh, fulfill the duty of establishing that such and such a person actually has such and such a cause. Um, or you'll be embarrassing yourselves, your profession, and the free gays in church. Um... <clears throat> So the owners of Capital Chemist, the two co-founders, are pretty much cons because the way that you're handled and um, talked into shape as an employee is essentially a concealed religious conversion attempt by them. Uh, so it's more pe petty than uh, the Christian church because... Um, the attempt to convert a you to a belief system is freely admitted to by evangelicals. Um, you know, the uh, agenda that you need to uh, um, accustom yourself to the approvals of a, you know, fr a couple of Freemasons uh, belief systems is, especially when they don't admit that's what it is. They go, no, no. Uh, <clears throat> I do not think that um, Roger Toll is certainly not in league with uh, scientists I've read about and admired throughout history. Galileo had the um, brevity to, in his day, say that Earth uh, rotated around the sun in the solar system. And he had the brevity to say that in con keeping consistency with scientific method and despite opposition by theologians and the church in his day to recant from his findings or uh, not disclose his findings and Roger sort of reminds me of the opposite or the arch enemy to that sort of um, mentality where he's sort of going I'll uh, I'll um, try and make science into a church, and it's just very, 
it explains instantly why an aspect of why this Freemason gibberish is so, is so secretive. Um, I strongly suspect now that if what they were about was brought and disclosed to the public view, they would be um, they would be sorely criticised. Um, yeah, no Galileo. <laughs> Definitely not a gal. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so that was sort of my summary of what I've observed about Freemasons so far. Uh, I used to wonder whether the religious temper and, you know, the way it tends to flare up irrationally and uh, in ways that are hard to predict if that is because th th it's linked to inexplicable supernatural beliefs um, so that it takes little uh, conversational pressure for a mood outburst That's just a theory that I've had because I noticed that in leaving and getting away from theistic religion in my teens, um, my mood definitely settled as well uh, as part of that. But yeah, I think that um, this Freemasonry opinion of Jesus as a martyr is about, it's pos arguably not as stupid as the claim that, that he uh, violated certain laws of nature and walked on water and floated into outer space after the crucifixion, but because we know at best these were words put in his mouth after death by 15 to 25 years, hearsay to hearsay to scribes. Uh, it's almost just as stupid to to uh, advance the case that those Gospels constitute his um, ideological cause. <clears throat> um, I think I think at, at most they were the indicators of how uh, unjust political killings were in around the first century of Palestine, uh, how they were concealed and embellished after the fact. Um, and that's when they flock in heaping supernatural idea after supernatural idea so that because it, it would take attention and focus uh, away from the conclusion that Monarchies are irrational uh, and unjust.